Hey guys, it's Rebecca Verstad. In today's video, I'm doing a really quick swatch video. This is the Nabla Midnight palette or the Cutie palette in the shade Midnight. Um, it is a cute little blue palette that I got from a Trend Mood box and it's blue. It's, it's really blue. So I'm going to be doing swatches. Um, I will be doing double swatches and I will do three shades at a time and there's only six. I will also do some outside video here after I get done. Um, I do have my little Fabletics makeup removing cloth to get swatches off my fingers. Um, and yeah, I will link the video of this down below. I've already done a first impressions of this. As you can tell, there's like some finger marks in here. Hopefully the dual chromes in here, like this one here and this one and this one, like they show up really well on, on um, the swatches because right now with the lighting, let's see if the mirror will pick it up. It's, it's not, it's not picking it up. So, um, we're going to start with blue hour, which is a matte air, which feels really wet. It's like a shimmer. This one here, Mar Marseille is a metallic. I promise it's not that patchy on the eye. I'm not sure if that the air shade is going to show up real well. It's a metallic shade or a shimmer shade, but it's not like this one here where it's metallic and the ring light may also be blowing it out. So I'm going to see if I can try and turn the ring light down. I really wish I had a camera set up so that I could film downward facing. Right now I have you guys at kind of an angle so I could get shots of this. Still not very good, but it'll, I'll have to show you what these look like outside. Next, we have Sapphire, which is absolutely a stunning, stunning shade. It is a crumbly metallic shade. Then we have Air, which is actually a dual chrome. And then Quiet Storm, which is a crumbly metallic. But this one is also a dual chrome. doing double swatches. That Alma shade in the middle also feels like it's it wants, it wants to be super crumbly, so I'm gonna build them up halfway down and then smooth them up. Because it looks like arm hair was getting involved. Now, this Quiet Storm shade, I'm gonna pick it up again, but I'm gonna tap it on instead of swipe it. That way you can see what it looks like when you press it into the skin. Because this is a really unique shade. I had never tried anything from Nabla and this is a really beautiful color. It has a gray base underneath of it, but the blue and green shift in it that is like purple at the very end it's like, I don't even think it's going to show up on my, like the color and this sapphire shade. Holy crap. I mean, I could literally just look at that. <laughs> and that was after building up the swatch. So let me get my fingers cleaned off. This is a really nice palette. I had never tried anything from Nabla, so I was a little skeptical. It also came with a liner. Actually, let me get that really quick. I will swatch that with this as well because I'm right here with it. This is the Cupid's Arrow in shade number six. That just gives you an idea of color comparison. 
it's a very creamy um, consistency and I use it in my waterline. So I'm gonna zoom you in and show you what this dual chrome looks like. Just ignore, ignore my watch for a minute. It's not wanting to pick it up. Well, crap. Um, and as you can tell, it's 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 three thirteen p.m. So there are all the swatches. Let me get in frame. Um, I will do outside tree cover and outside daylight swatches because there's actually some sun out right now. This palette is really pretty. Um, do I wish there was three more shades? I absolutely do because I hate three, you know, palettes with only six shades in it. I think a palette should have at least nine <laughs> to be considered a palette. I do. So would I have bought this on my own? Um, maybe not. And that this shade here kind of threw me because everything else is blue. This is white with a blue base. This is a, a really pretty like sky pastel cloud blue. You've got a navy blue here. You've got this beautiful royal like jewel toned blue. You've got this duochrome here that's a blue purple shift with a gray base. But this one here, I was like, why is there like this bronzy shade in here? Where'd that come from? I guess every palette has to have a basic bitch in it. So I don't know. Um, so I will see you guys in just a minute outside and you will have to worry about uh, listening to the air hum. All right, it is now 4.07. I have swatched the other arm. And here we are outside with the daylight swatches. I'm gonna zoom you guys in really close and try and get as close as I can so you can see the shift on this one. Hopefully you'll be able to see the shift on this one. And yes, the, uh, that blue shade kind of rubbed off on my nightgown a little bit, so it's, it's also up here. So I do apologize, it got rubbed off on my nightgown just a little bit, but it also, like when I did this, it rubbed off on the upper part of my arm, so this also looks a little... And it's, oh, it's, crum it's crumbling off my arm. I didn't have it do that on my face. Well, that's a development. Hello, camera? Are you going to focus? Now you can see it better. It literally just crumbled off my arm. You can definitely, I mean, in the viewfinder, I can see the shift in this one. So we are in natural light under a shade, a beautiful shade tree. I don't know if you can see. There's an Emily in the distance. You can almost, she's right there. You see her? Right there. Ta da! <laughs> Anyways, so here is this palette outside. I'm gonna go get um, direct sunlight. It is now four o'clock and I need to hurry because I still have to get a shower before work. Okay, I'm at the end of the driveway. Hopefully, you guys can see this okay. I can barely see the camera. It's going to be loud with traffic noise because I'm literally near the road. Holy bunch of, it's like blown out on the camera. I am literally in direct sunlight. I can't even tell what you guys can see. So there's all the swatches in direct sunlight. As you can see what they look like. Some of them don't even look like they're showing up. But it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you like it when I do outside and inside swatch videos? Because I know some people complain. They only want it in like fluorescent lighting and I don't think that that's right because shadows, especially this one here, which I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera or not. <laughs> there's, there's that one shade on my side of my arm. Um, they don't show up very well in like 
fluorescent lighting. They show up better in natural sunlight because they have a chance to sparkle. So let me know what you guys think down below. I will see you guys later. Have a fantastic day or night wherever you are. Bye.